Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking at a video by Kobe Explains from last year, in which he suggests that the growing airline market in India could help revive the Airbus A380 program, which was discontinued in December 2021, when the last of the type was delivered to Emirates. While the video brings up valid points regarding the shortcomings of airport infrastructure, he makes the illogical assumption that the A380 would solve these problems. While the Super Jumbo boasts a huge passenger capacity, it would also, as we'll later see in the video, have a negligible impact on air travel in India. One of the first points raised by Kobe is that India does not have a sufficient amount of airports to cater to its massive population of 1.4 billion. There are less than 150 commercial airports in India as compared to over 500 in the US. What Kobe forgets to mention, however, is that there were about 138 million annual passenger journeys in the country versus 750 million in the states. Indeed, India's numbers are growing rapidly and there is a demand for more airports in smaller cities where most of India's under construction airports are being built under the Uday Desh Ke Aam Nagrik or Udan scheme. Of course, these airports are only built to handle short haul single aisle aircraft such as the Airbus A320 or Boeing 737, or in some cases, even smaller turboprop aircraft like the ATR and Dash 8. Also, the majority of air traffic in India is domestic, and most domestic passengers fly low cost airlines such as Indigo. Kobe himself suggests that Air India would be the only possible customer for the A380. But Air India accounts for less than 10% of India's domestic passengers, so the A380 wouldn't really make a difference there, especially since only 4 airports in the country can handle the A380 anyways. As for international flights, 15 million travelers fly over India's borders every year. Air India transports less than 2 million of them. Again, it's unlikely that the A380 would make such a drastic difference to justify its high operational costs. Congestion is a real problem in India's airports. As more and more Indians are taking to the skies, the existing infrastructure is struggling to keep up with the demand. Both Airbus and Boeing have suggested that Indian airlines opt for larger aircraft to relieve airspace congestion. But I don't see why a smaller, more efficient wide body such as an A350 or a 787 would be any less effective at improving the flow of traffic. In fact, their low-cost effectiveness makes them more accessible to low-cost airlines like Indigo, which alone makes up more than half of all domestic traffic in the country. The A350, 787, A330, or even a 777 are all more than capable in reducing congestion on high traffic corridors between major cities, and they are less expensive to acquire, maintain, and operate. Even if Air India, for whatever reason, felt like it needed the excess capacity, it would simply just inject some of the dozens of second-hand A380s currently in storage. Maybe they could save these jets by prolonging the retirement? Nevertheless, we can safely assume that Air India will not purchase any newly manufactured A380s. They won't be able to do so anyways because Airbus has already converted the A380 assembly line for the A320 production. The idea of an Airbus A380 with a Victor Tango registration has existed as a wet dream for Indian abjiks, and as passenger volumes rebound and continue rising, one can only wonder if this render might one day become a reality.